So for the foot elevated, foot on the wall, split squat or goblet squat as well, what I'm gonna need is to set myself up by a flat surface like a wall uh, and something to elevate my foot on. So I've just got this block, uh, it's like the size of a big textbook, it's like two inches tall. You can use like a weight plate or anything like that, it's perfectly fine. So with the distance of the feet, the way I'm going to determine this is I want a distance that allows me to have one, my front foot planted, two, my back foot up against the wall, and my toe on the back foot to be touching the floor. So toes on the floor and the back foot, but heels against the wall. And I want a position that allows me to stay upright whilst my knee comes forward towards my heel. So from there, that's not close enough, so I'm just going to adjust it. Bring it back. And I try and find that sweet spot. So remember, I want my back knee to come in line with my front heel. So I'll place that there. Toe, big toe is extended, so big toe is planted on the ground. Heels planted against the wall. I'm going to look forward. And I'm going to just try and bring that knee just behind the front heel, come back up. And the knee on my back leg, so my right leg, is going to stay in line with the hip. So then, holding a dumbbell or kettlebell, I've got a dumbbell, I'm going to hold the head like this, I'm going to hold it nice and close, and then just lift it slightly out in front of me, so I've got a little bit of like forward momentum, so I have to lean back. I'm going to put that heel back in that same place, hold this up high, and I'm just going to bring that back knee down towards the front heel, whilst keeping my knee, hip, shoulders aligned on this back side of my body. So I come down, and back up. Down, back up. And with the back foot, you can see, as I come down, the heel will leave the wall. That's fine, as long as it comes back to the wall afterwards, so we begin from a neutral position. My back knee isn't touching the floor. It's about an inch or so above the floor when I come down. So I'm still getting quite deep, but it's not, it's not smashing against the floor, that back knee. When I'm on here, I also want to remember, so from this position, my back hip, so my right leg, that would be my back hip, I want to bring that forward. So even though my right leg's behind me, I want to bring my right hip in front of my left hip, so I screw myself in to this left leg. Cool. And then just coming down, heel's going to come off the wall slightly, and then come back up. If you can keep your heel planted, that's absolutely fine, but as long as you finish this position with the heel still on the wall and a big toe extended on the ground, you're all good. So again, with the dumbbell, pick that up, bring it in close, and go down. Keeping everything straight. 